Hey guys, Limit Fisherman here, and I'm bringing you another uh, new lures, new plastics. Most of this is plastics, and also to back it up, this is a Bass Pro Shops order, but also I've got uh, some back ordered items, two items that came in on back order from Tackle Warehouse, and they came in several weeks late, but they're here and they're ready to be on the camera. So, uh, first start out, went to Bass Pro Shops and uh, bought a quarter ounce giga head. I bought a few of these, and I've got a few of these. It's laid around in my tackle box, but you get the idea. I bought some of these, and this is the one I like. If you watch my previous video, I like the ones that have the spring. You'll see here they have a five odd hook. It's going to get a little bit better hookups. I like them. All right, now they have plastics. I wasn't going to buy many plastics, but when I realized that they had 25% off, I was like, well, the more you buy, the more you save. So I went ahead and bought me some. And I'll show you the first one I actually want to start out. My favorite, probably one of my favorite, if not my, it's my go to shaky head worm now. It's just fantastic it's a mag shaky head green weenie color it's a really interesting color it's kind of translucent uh, it's like a green pumpkin translucent I really really like it it's gonna be great and then here I've actually gone through some of these caught some fish on them yesterday on Lake Oconee uh, mag shaky head green pumpkin green and uh, that pack's about halfway used. And I've got a few packs that are of the same worm. So this is not all that I bought. I've got some of these laid in my tackle box um, that are like half used or so. And Because I, I did this order several weeks ago, but I didn't want to bring it out just yet. Uh, and then here's a pack of these 316th ounce black ones that I bought before. Um, and then right here. Just a regular old trick worm, watermelon chartreuse. So it's a watermelon with a chartreuse tail there. I like that. Once again, like I mentioned, summertime, a little dirtier water, that chartreuse tip, uh, the end of the bait, I really like that. And then right here, something similar, motor oil color, and then chartreuse on the end, just a regular old trick worm. And then right here, trick worm kiwi. Actually bought this color at the Bill Shaw thing too. But I bought these at Bass Pro Shops also. And then, then right here, I got Mag Shaky Head Watermelon Candy. What I like about Watermelon Kelly, it's got all the different colored flakes. I don't know if you can make it out, but there's blue, red, I think, and green. Definitely green. Maybe red too. Yeah. And it's just an awesome color. Really awesome color. And then right here is a Mag Finesse Worm. So it's almost, it's got the thickness of a Cinco type deal. Maybe not the heaviness. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's got a kind of a bulbous tail, and uh, I'll be interested to use this out there. I like those kind of worms for my shaky head. And here, I got a salty super fluke midnight chartreuse. Now this is an interesting color, and when I bought this bait, it was right towards the tail end of the spawn. I want to get this one out. We've got enough time. This will be a short video. But this is a, such an interesting color. I bought this around the spawn, and I thought. This would be something different to throw on a bed or just to throw around and search for fish that are on beds. Isn't that an interesting color? I want to toss that around a little bit. That looks cool. So, that's why I bought it. <laughs> uh, and then right here, Mag Finesse. Just like you saw just a second ago with that bulbous tail and just pumpkin color. And then right here, at the same time I was doing a lot of bed fishing and sight fishing. And you cannot beat a small drop shot with a little robo worm. And then right here, this actual color is Pumpkin Punisher. It's got a little bit of a chartreuse tail. That's And it's got like the pumpkin uh, rest of the plastic there. It's kind of supposed to imitate a bluegill. Bluegill messing, messing up that nest. Uh, mag finesse worm, or mag shaky head again. Watermelon seed. Just different colors of the same lure. I love to use those plastics. The original trick worm. Watermelon seed. Watermelon seed is just a, such a standby color. It, it's just another really good. It, it, but I like to use the watermelon a little bit more in clearer water and the green pumpkin in a little bit more off-colored water or, or maybe if I have a dark day or early in the morning when the light is lower. So, good little tip for you. And then Super, Super Fluke Junior. So a little bit smaller size than the ones you've seen in the previous video and from the, the one earlier in baby bass color. And once again, this was, you know, several weeks ago, right at about the middle of the spawn, maybe right towards the tail end, and I wanted to throw some of these. So um, there's going to be more to come. I want to end this early. It's kind of a relief, I'm sure, for you guys that have actually stuck in for the long 12 and like 15, or no, 16, 12, and 16-minute videos that I've been posting lately. So 
Uh, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you've made it to a little over about five and a half minutes or so. This has been Limit Fisherman. Give me some ideas of some stuff you want to see. Update and bio video for you guys coming soon. And also I'm working on putting together uh, uh, sort of a montage <laughs> uh, from the pictures of last season. I've been working on it, but man, I have just been way too busy this year. Way too busy. I don't even have time to think anymore. I don't even know what day of the week it is most of the time anymore. And uh, this is in between school too, so it should, it should, I shouldn't be this stressed and, and busy, but I am. You know, I just got a lot going on, but I'm working on it. It's, it's going to be about 12 minutes long. I've got pictures from last year. A few things around the house, just funny things that happen, but really 98% of it is fishing pictures. I had an awesome fishing season last year, not only tournaments, but just fun fishing wise. I was able to spend a lot of time out on the water. I wasn't working much. I was able to actually make some money from the tournaments and in the end and also from uh, doing some small guiding trips just you know family and friends that would pay me you know however much I really wanted to take them out you know and um, you know people on Facebook saw me doing well in fishing and they're like hey I want to go catch some fish I want to enjoy being on a, out on a nice boat and if you see my boat you know what I mean and uh, you know they want to go out there and you know I charge them a little bit of money and we all have some fun and it was great you know I could cut back from work I didn't have to work at a place I didn't want to be as much and it was just great but anyways, this has been Limit Fisherman. I hope to see you soon. No, no. I'd like to see you soon, but that's not what I meant to say. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Bye. Oh, just to fit this in, I almost forgot to do it. I wasn't paying attention. But just to fit this in, I uh, wanted to show you the few lures I got from Tackle Warehouse. So we'll fit this in. This is a uh, Spro Popper Bronze Eye Pop in uh, what color is this? green pumpkin just green pumpkin color similar to your worms and it's a pretty big size there you can see that that's the regular I think this is the 65 really good really good I don't have many of these popper ones and I'm wanting to look at them and, and dance them around a little bit now here is an interesting color this is the uh, this is the red ear color I think it's called it's really 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 nice bluegill imitator really cool color and this is the popper once again I'm pretty sure this is the 65 We'll double check. Yeah, red ear is the color, and uh, this is the 65. So, this has been Limber Fisherman. Talk to you soon.